Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to this video. Do you want to know how to integrate your QNAP NAS into Home Assistant? Well, in this video, what we're going to be doing is adding our QNAP NAS to our Home Assistant dashboard. And what we'll also do is add in our QNAP NAS so that we can back up Home Assistant directly onto our QNAP NAS shared folder. So what we'll do is hop onto the computer behind me and then I'll take you through the steps to do this. So here we are at the computer and what I've done is logged into Home Assistant and we are now at the dashboard or the overview tab as you'll see here. So what we need to do to add the QNAP NAS into Home Assistant is go to settings at the left side menu here. Then from the settings menu that appears in the center of your screen, select devices and services. Then this will take you into your integrations where you have the devices already added into Home Assistant. So to add the QNAP NAS, what we need to do is select add integration in the bottom right corner. Then with the set up a new integration pop-up window that appears, type in QNAP and this will then bring up QNAP as you'll see with the QNAP logo. So select QNAP and then with the second selection, you have QNAP QSW or QNAP. So you need to select just QNAP, which is the first option at the top. And this will take you into the connect to the QNAP device. Now in the host box, what you need to do is type in the IP address for your QNAP NAS. Now what you need to make sure is that your home assistant installation is in the same VLAN as your QNAP NAS. So in the host box, type in the IP address. And in my case, my host is 192.168.1.45, which I've obtained from my router from the list of clients. So in the username box, then what you need to type in is the username, which you normally use to access the web interface for your QNAP NAS. Now, in my case, the username is Tim. So what we're going to do is type in Tim, but of course your username is whatever you've created before. Then in the password box, you need to type in the password that you normally use to access your QNAP NAS web interface. So in my case, I'm pasting in the password that I use. Then in the uses an SSL certificate, make sure that box is unticked and also with the box for verify SSL certificate, you need to untick that box. Now it should be ticked by default, so just untick it. Then in the port box, you should have 8080 in there. But if of course you've changed the port by default for your web interface, which you normally access your QNAP NAS with, then you'll need to change the port from 8080 to the correct port number that you've changed it to. Now by default, it's 8080. So we're going to leave that as it is. And then what we'll do is click Submit. This should then add the QNAP NAS into Home Assistant for the integration. Now, as you can see, you should get a success message, created configuration for NAS1. We found the following device, NAS1, and it's a model TS, 462 and of course it's a QNAP. Now it's asking me to add it to an area. Now you don't have to do this but you can if you want so you can select the area where your QNAP NAS is located. However I'm just going to leave it blank and then what we need to do is click finish. This will then take you into the QNAP page as you will see here so it should look similar or it should look the same or similar to this. So what we need to do now to add our QNAP NAS into the overview, so the Home Assistant dashboard, so we can monitor the QNAP NAS, is what we need to do is select one device. So where it says NAS1, or whichever the name of your NAS is called, select one device, and this will take you into another QNAP screen, as you'll see. So you should have device info, automation, scenes, scripts, diagnostics, and logbook. So what we're going to do is for the diagnostic, we're going to add this information here shown in diagnostic into the Home Assistant dashboard. So to add it, all you need to do is click on 
add to dashboard. However, if this entries under this diagnostic screen, which are not being shown, but which you would like adding into your Home Assistant dashboard, what you need to do is click on Disabled Entries. You will see then that there's a whole selection of greyed out entries, which you can also add into the dashboard. So for example, I would like to add, say, use space for data volume one and use space for data volume two. So to do this, what you need to do is select the relevant entry, which you want to also show on the Home Assistant dashboard for your QNAP NAS. So select an entry by clicking on it. Then you will see it says this entry is disabled. So to enable it, what you need to do is click the gear or the cog icon in that pop-up window. Then for the selection where it says enabled, what you need to do is select the slider so that it turns blue for enabled and then select update. Then it says the enabled entries or the enabled entities rather will be added to Home Assistant in 30 seconds. So just click OK and then proceed to go to the next entry which you want to show on your dashboard. So the next disabled one, for example, is use space for data volume two. Select this, select the gear or the cog icon and then select enabled and select update and then click OK. Then what we can do is go back using the back arrow here at the top left and then select NAS1, one device again. And then here you will now see that we've got volume used for data volume one and two and also use space for data volume one and two. So if you recall just a second ago, the use space entries for data volume one and two were disabled. So now you will see that they are enabled and then this means they will now appear on the Home Assistant dashboard for your QNAP NAS. So what we need to do then to add it to the dashboard. So we're going to add all these entries. All you need to do is click add to dashboard. So if you want to add more entities, all you need to do is select disabled entities, select the entity that you want to add in. So one of the disabled ones, click enable and then click OK and it will then add it like we've just done with the use space entities. However, we'll just go back and then what we'll do is again select NAS1, one device, and then what we'll do is select add to dashboard. And then it will ask you to choose a view and at the moment we've got dashboard as default. So if you want to add it to a different dashboard, if you have more than one dashboard, then just select the dashboard, for example, and then click on next. Then it will say we've created a suggestion for you. So as you can see, it's going to add all of these entities to the Home Assistant dashboard for our QNAP NAS so we can monitor it from Home Assistant. So all you need to do is click add to dashboard and that completes it. So to prove that it's worked, what we'll do is go to the overview tab at the left side, and you will now see that we've got NAS1, CPU usage, ethernet status, memory status, system temperature, use space, and then volume use. So that completes adding our QNAP NAS so we can monitor it from our Home Assistant dashboard. Now, what we can also do is add our QNAP NAS to Home Assistant so that we can back up Home Assistant directly to the QNAP NAS. So to do this, what you need to do is select settings at the left hand side. Then what you need to do is select system from the settings menu that appears in the center of the screen here. Then what you need to do is select the storage option. Then this will take you into disk metrics and also network storage. So to add network storage, what we need to do is click add network storage. Then in the pop-up window that appears, you will see that we've got the cursor in the name box. So just type in the name of your NAS. In this case, it's NAS1. What we need to do is select usage backup. Then in the server box, what you need to do is again, type in the IP address for your QNAP NAS. Now in my case, it's 192.168.1.45. However, yours will likely be different. So just again, obtain the IP address for your QNAP NAS from your router or router, whichever you like to refer to them as. Then in the protocol, what you would normally select is Samba Windows, so CIFS. Put a tick in the protocol for Samba Windows. Then in the remote share box, 
what you need to do is type in the name of the folder on your NAS where you want your Home Assistant backups to be saved to. So in my case, I set up the disks as called data. And then what I did with data is set up a subfolder called downloads. And then what you need to do is type in a backslash and then the folder where you want your backup save to. So as I said, in my case, it's downloads. So we'll type in downloads. So what you should have is the main folder name and then backslash and then the subfolder where your backups will be saved to. So then in the username box, you need to type in the username which you set up to access your shared folders on your NAS with. So in my case, it will be share. And then what you need to do is put in the password which is associated with your user account which you access the shared folders on your NAS with. So in most cases, if you haven't created any additional users, it will be the same username which you log in to your NAS web interface with and the same password which you use to log in to your NAS web interface with. So once you've typed in those details, then you can click on update and it should then take you back to the network storage and disk metrics screen and your NAS should be shown under network storage. So now that we've added the network storage for our NAS is we need to go back with the arrow. Then in the settings window that appears in the center of the screen, select backups. And then what you need to do is select show all backups. And then you will see we've got a backup here after has update on the 28th of April, 2025. So what we're going to do is create a new backup, but this time we're going to save it to our QNAP NAS, which we've just added instead of saving it into Home Assistant. So to do this, select backup now in the bottom right corner. Then with the pop-up window, select manual backup. Then what you need to do is select the relevant options which you want to back up. For example, if you've got media stored on your Home Assistant, then select this option to back that up and also back up shared folders should you wish. What I normally do is just select all of the options, so turn them all blue. And for the add-ons, I always leave this as selected as all, and then select next. Then in the synchronization window, you'll see we've got backup name. So what you need to do is give your backup a name. So this will be the file name which your backup is being called. So for example, backup on, 2nd of May 2025 and then for the locations you'll see we've got two locations now so you will see we've got custom so select custom and then it will give you the option to choose where you want to save your backup to so in this case you will see we've got this system which is backing up directly into home assistant itself or we've now got the NAS1 which we've just added. So what we're going to do is back it up to NAS1. So tick NAS1 and then select create backup. And as you'll see, we've got a backup on 2nd of May 2025 here and it's saying the location and it's showing you a picture of the NAS. So this confirms that the backup has now been saved onto our QNAP NAS from Home Assistant. So what we'll do is open up the downloads folder where we've just saved this backup to. And as you can see from the file explorer window that I've just opened, I'm now connected to the data folder on my QNAP NAS. And then in the subfolder of downloads, it's now backed up on the 2nd of May 2025, which is our Home Assistant backup. So this confirms that it's now backed up our Home Assistant to our QNAP NAS directly rather than having to back up into Home Assistant and then copy the files manually. So that'll do it for this video. Hope you found this video useful. And obviously we've done two things. We've added our QNAP NAS onto our Home Assistant dashboard so that we can monitor our QNAP NAS storage space, temperature and so on. And what we've also done is added the QNAP NAS so that we can back up directly into our QNAP NAS from Home Assistant. So hope you found this video useful and keep a lookout for more videos coming again soon. Bye for now.